Do we jump into our second installment in the series of the Songs of Degrees? I'm not going to give as much of an introduction. You can go back to the first video or to the introduction if you want that. I want to make some headway here as we only got through one verse last time. In verse 2, he says, Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. You know, I think it's curious. You know, the you know, the first step in the Christian life is recognizing that as as we are God's children, we need help. And that our help that we need is not simply physical, it's not simply financial, it's not simply how much food we have or how much clothes we have or how big our house is or how nice our car is. The first thing that is recognized here is deliver my soul, O Lord. I need help. And the help I need is not help with my circumstances, but it's with my soul. It's with who I am. And we discover here in Psalm 120, in the second verse of the Songs of Degrees, we discover our number one enemy. And who is our number one enemy? You know, many people would think it's the devil. Some people would say it's God. Sometimes we feel like the main enemy is other people around us. But the psalmist has it right here when he says, Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. You see, our number one enemy is ourselves. You know, when I was younger, we played a game called Guitar Hero. And there was a song on there called I Am My Own Worst Enemy. It's curious that that's actually true from the Bible. It says that we shouldn't blame God when we are tempted, and that we shouldn't have the sense that the devil made me do it. But it says in the book of James, we are tempted and we are drawn away by our own evil desires. And the same, the same exact concept is found in the book of Romans, in chapter 7 and verse 18, where he says, that is in me, that is in my flesh, there dwells no good thing. So the first thing necessary after we have this foundation, the journey begins with salvation, with being made new, we find out that the worst enemy we have is ourself, our flesh, our own desires. And most specifically what he goes to here is our tongue, our lips and our tongue, and how easy it is for us to let our tongue say what it wants to say, to let come out of our mouth whatever we want to let come out of our mouth. In fact, we're going to look at the book of James chapter 3, if we can here. In James chapter 3, and verse 8, he says this about the tongue. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. For with it we bless God, even the Father, and with it we curse men who are made after the likeness of God. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. And so there's this great dilemma we find is that we have to battle our own tongue. It's our greatest enemy. It says no man can tame it. Now, of course, that's in the natural man. By the power of the Spirit, we know that we can walk in victory and that it's possible to please God. But deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. You know, the first thing we have to do is to recognize our own weakness. To recognize that we can't fix the problem on our own. And we can't... We can't stop ourselves by our own efforts. In Matthew chapter 12, in verse 35 to 37, it says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things, 
And an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. But I say to you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account of in the day of judgment. For by your words you shall be justified, and by your words you shall be condemned. He gives this really high place to the words that we use. It's amazing how easy it is for us to just say things. But Jesus says the, the problem is in the heart. And if our hearts are occupied with the Lord Jesus, then what comes out of our mouth will be controlled by his spirit. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You see, that's the, that's the trick to controlling the tongue. What is your heart dwelling on? Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. I uh, will look at the solution in our next episode. Thank you. God bless. Mm -hmm.